Right then, folks, so a nice simple one for you now. You all know how much I love to use pre-tied hooks, I pretty much. I don't even tie hooks myself at all, other than when it's proper, proper desperately cold, like November, December time, that's when I'll tie my own. But other than that, from now on, all the way through till then, I'm going to be using pre-tied hooks. But the only trouble you'll have is they come six inches. Uh, <laughs> cheeky. Uh, and that's just a little bit too long for a lot of the fishing that I want to do. Now, I'm not a big advocate. Oh, is it advocar? What's an advocar? That's like a drink, isn't it? Advocate. Advocate. That's a, advocate's the right word, isn't it? Advocate's the right word. I'm a big advocate. Um, when it's colder, I will say to put like a, a stop on your on your hook length so you're getting that bite and you're seeing it as soon as it happens with using a six inch hook length. But the warmer it gets, I definitely, definitely, I wouldn't be doing that because obviously it's just putting a, a bit of a bit of a weak point in the line and that's where it's going to snap. So what you want to be doing is trimming your hook lens down and that's what I'm going to show you. It's really simple to do the three inch ones, which are do use for a lot of your fishing, but most of my fishing is done with four inch up lengths. It's a little bit trickier, but you can get it done, even with mittens like these, and I'm going to show you. So, first things first. So these are straight out of the packet, the pre-tied hooks, Preston hooks, these are SFLBs, 16s. I'm just going to trim some down. So, obviously, first thing we're going to do is just get the up length off the retainer. And then we go over to our hook length box, which has got loads of hooks tied in it, folks. It's not really. Need to tie, need to tie loads of them up. So first thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you the three inch one first, which is a little bit simpler. All you need, you need a little loop tire thing as well, so you can get your loops uh, nice and accurate every time. So make sure you get one of them. So first things first, we put the hook into. You're getting that, Richard. Putting the hook into. You're getting that into like the the retainer plastic spiky thing, and then we get in. Three inch one first, so all we're doing, just wrapping the line around there, making a loop, and then make sure you're trapping it. Yeah, so trapping that line and then pull it out, but make sure, it all sounds wrong, doesn't it? But you know what I mean? Make sure you don't let go of that bit, that little bit of loop in the line. Next thing to do is I want to pull about an inch back on my line. And then what I want to do is push that together, and you'll see, you're getting on that reshard, it'll naturally create that loop for you yeah so once you got that loop all i want to do now is put the loop that i've formed around the pin through that big loop two times so what i'm going to do is go through once see that going through and then we formed another loop and then twice that's it so you that's you double over on loop if you like and that's what you're left with next thing to do i'm going to come over here and get me loop tire pin you've got all like different ones in here i like a 10 mil a 10 mil loop so i'll get that i put the long the long end through the little loop like so and then the short end goes through your your bigger loop if you like the one that you've gone through twice pull that down give it a moisten and then as you're pulling that tight make sure you come off the long loop first and then all it is you see that loop forming there that knot forming just give that a pull on that and that's it, that's your loop formed. And then all we need to do is trim that off, get some scissors. Dead simple. Obviously, I'm slowing everything down, but you know, you can do this really quick when you wanted to. So trim, trim that bit off there, put that line down there, and that's what you're left with. Yeah, nice little getting on that Richard. He's on it, you on it, Richard. He's on it. Of course he's on it. CEO, isn't he? So nice little babby, three inch up length which we can put straight in our hook length box. Yeah, so it's perfect, three inches every single time. Next thing, next one we're going to do is a four inch one. A little bit trickier, and obviously two inches is exactly the same. A little bit trickier, but you can do it. So I'm going to show you the four inch one now. The trouble you've got with the four inch one is you've not got much leeway. You know, when you're making that loop, you've not got much leeway there. So you've got to be, got to be a bit... A bit on it as i say with mittens like these you still do it so four inches again hook into there come to four inch pin twist that round exactly the same process but it's this bit here now that'll just it's like a little bit of getting used to you'll be able to do it because obviously we've not got enough line now well as much line more than what we need so again pull pull like an inch back you'll actually feel the knot so once you feel the knot in your index finger in your thumb that's when obviously you know you're on that that point 
and then again you're just making that loop and I want to put that through there two times again so exactly the same process so we'll go through one pull it out I say it's just that little bit fiddlier but can still be done and then twice come on that's it so pull that tight again if you find that you see the light get that in there rich if you find that the line goes over the uh, the knot all you want to do is just pull that pull that back a bit you see how it's just come loose of that knot there now them two them two loops it'll just come a bit bit free that's what you want so again i'm going to grab that i'm going to get our 10 mil which is there long bit through the little babby loop and then your short one through the two bits of line together pull that down give it a moisten over the long one first and pull that tight and that's created your loop for you so again I say a little bit a little bit fiddly but can still be done no problem at all and that's pretty much all i do so obviously i get these um pre-tied hook lengths in and then i'll just have a good sort of like what half an hour to an hour just trimming them all down to size and then that's me done dusted absolutely bang on so we'll put that one on our four inch one and keep looking there there we go so it's perfect and you see in there which gets on them you see perfectly we've got a three and a four inch one as i say you can do two inch ones no problem at all but for me two inches is probably only what maybe three four weeks of the year when you're going to be using two inch uh, hook lens when you're in right shallow water and that most of your fishing this time of year until it goes really cold will be done with three and four inches simple right so we hope you are enjoying the video that you're watching if not have just watched but what we'd also like you to see is the packages that we include for our more technical informational stuff where what we can bring to you is all we pretty much know about the technical side and our match style side of fishing and I'm what we have <laughs> you are of course you are in this bit we have two sides of things we have the basic package that for 4.99 you can watch us fish live matches a q a every month and additional stuff from matty doors with live matches and more technical stuff on his side or we have the all access package where you can literally see technical insights live matches from again from us but also from some of the best anglers flipping on the planet i mean we treat it as three days coaching for us and we go out and we show you what we're learning for anglers like darren cox andy bennett their ship to name Loads. but a few well worth a look if you fancy having a little bit more fishing content to watch